Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about even and odd functions. So here we are going to discuss this topic in two sections. So in the first section we are going to give the introduction about even and odd function and then solve few examples. So let A be a non-empty subset of R such that minus x belongs to A for all x belongs to A and f is a function from A to R. And here, if f of minus x is equal to f of x for every x in A, then f is called as an even function. So now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So we have in here f of x is equal to cos x. And here, if it is an even function, then it must satisfy the condition f of minus x is equal to f of x. So now let us find the value of f of minus x by replacing here x with minus x. So we get here f of minus x as cos of minus x. Now let us find the value of cos of minus x. So here we have two lines, a horizontal line and a vertical line. The horizontal line represents the x axis and the vertical line represents the y axis. We have here four quadrants, one, two, three and four and theta lies in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, the value of cos theta and secant theta are positive and all the rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative. So we get here the value of cos of minus x as cos x. And here cos x is nothing but f of x. So we get the value of f of minus x as f of x. So we can call f of x as an even function as it is satisfying the condition of f of minus x is equal to f of x. So let us learn what is an odd function. So here if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x for every x in a then f is called as an odd function. So let me explain this with the help of an example. So let us consider f of x is equal to sin x and here if it is a odd function then it must satisfy the condition f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. Now let us find the value of f of minus x by replacing here x with minus x. We get here f of minus x is equal to sine of minus x. As we know here theta lies in the fourth quadrant and here except cos theta and secant theta all the other trigonometric ratios are negative. We get the value of sine of minus x as minus sine x. So here sine x is nothing but f of x. So we get here f of minus x as minus f of x. So we call f of x as a odd function as it is satisfying the condition f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. So this was the basic introduction on even and odd functions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.